Welcome. In front of me, I have Garmin Vivo Move Sport, and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with an iPhone. You can pair this watch with an iPhone in two ways. The first method is to pair it during the setup process of the watch. So basically, if, you, if your watch is brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings. And the second method is to pair it through settings after the watch has been already set up. First, I'm gonna show you the during setup method and then I'm gonna show you how to do it through settings. So let's start with the pairing. First thing you will need to do is to turn on your watch. To turn on this watch, you need to plug it in to a charger or the computer via the USB cable provided in the box. Once the watch turns on, you should see the hello screen or hello message on the screen. Basically, that means that your watch is a new or it's been reset to the factory default settings. Now, tap on the screen, continue, and now you should see the list of languages. You can scroll through the list by, swiping, by tapping on the arrows right here. Find the language you like to use on your watch and tap on it to select it. And as you can see, now we have per now button. We can tap on it. And now we need to download and install the Garmin Connect application on our iPhone. So let's open the App Store. In the App Store, let's tap on search right here. Then tap on the search bar, type in a Garmin Connect. And then tap search. Select this app, Garmin Connect. Tap on this icon to install the app and wait until the app is done installing. And once the application is done installing, you can tap on open button right here or simply open it by tapping on the icon, uh, Garmin Connect icon on the home screen. In the app, you will see this message. You can tap on OK. Now make sure that the Bluetooth is enabled on your iPhone, as, case, as you can see, it's enabled on mine. If it's not, just, just enable it before, before we continue. And here, um, as you can see, I can continue with my account. I can basically log in uh, into my account because iPhone remembers my account. And I logged in uh, uh, to this app before on this iPhone. But uh, if you're opening this app for the first time on your phone, you will see this page. And here you can create an account if you need to. And you can also log in into an account. Okay, I'm just gonna go back, tap on continue to log login into my account, then check the boxes and tap next. Now we can allow the permission for the notifications. So basically, if you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on your watch, you need to allow this permission. If you don't want to do it, tap on don't allow. And here we need to, or rather we can allow the um, health uh, permissions like uh, heart rate and stuff like that if you want to track it with your watch. Um, you can tap on turn on all if you want to or just select the separate, uh, I mean specific ones uh, if you like. And once you're done, tap on allow. But before we continue, as you can see, our uh, watch is not in pairing mode anymore because after some time it just leaves the pairing mode. So let's tap on the pair now again. Now it's in pairing, mo pairing mode again. We can tap on allow right here. And as you can see, the app detected our watch automatically. Tap on connect it. Now we need to enter the code from our watch. So 7947.25, tap pair. We can allow uh, to display the notifications on our watch. So if you want to get the notifications on your watch, you need to tap on allow. Now let's tap on next. Here we can set up a sleep time, basically the time you go to bed and the time when you wake up. This is useful if you want to use some features like uh, sleep tracking, I believe um, sleep do not disturb mode and sleep mode. And you can set it up by tapping on the box right here and then adjust the time to your liking by swiping up and down on the screen. Do the same for wake up time, like that. And once you're done, tap on next then tap on yes. Or if you don't want to turn on the do not disturb mode um, uh, during sleep, you can also tap on no, but I'm gonna tap on yes. Here we can select the 
preferred wrist on which we're gonna wear the watch and tap next and right here we can select the watch face for, for our watch as you can see it's kind of buggy right now but select the one you like tap next here we can set up goals so basically uh, goals like uh, steps i believe uh, the, and how much water you drink and stuff like that you can tap on edit my goals to edit it or you can tap on skip to skip this step right here we can allow the permission for the location for the app if you want to do it tap on allow location if you don't tap on skip i'm gonna tap on allow and allow while using the app here we can allow the calendar access again you can you can skip it or allow it then tap on sync now finish and here we have a tutorial how to use our watch you can tap on next and go through it or skip it by tapping skip now we can manage the weather data so basically we can set up the location from which the uh, watch will show us the weather so we can tap on manage weather, weather location and here we can select use phone location so it's gonna get the location from a phone or use fixed location so you can basically uh, set the location yourself and you can tap on set fixed location open it's gonna open the map find the location on the map for example somewhere here basically press and hold on the location and then tap on set location now we can also set up a few more things if you want to to do it tap on get started and here you can check what you can set up and you can basically tap on on the thing and here you can it's gonna redirect you to the settings uh, but i'm just gonna swipe left on them to ignore them for now like that and get rid of this and on our watch we can take a tour basically tutorial how to use a watch i'm just gonna tap on x to skip it and here we have it the, uh, the watch is ready to use and now also, of course we can also an app we can tap on more uh my butt on more scroll down tap on garmin devices select the vivo move sport and here we have the device page for our vivo move sport okay and that's how you pair this watch with an iphone uh, through the or rather during the setup process and now i'm gonna show you how to do it um, through settings so i'm gonna unpair this watch from our phone so remove the device close the app open the bluetooth settings tap on the info button right here tap forget device tap forget device uh, to remove the device from the bluetooth okay now we need to enter the pairing mode on this watch to do it simply double tap on the screen to wake it up like this then press and hold on the screen to open the menu now scroll through the menu by swiping left or right on the screen find the this icon the phone icon with bluetooth tap on it then find this icon the phone icon with bluetooth again tap on it as you can see the watch entered the pairing mode and you can just open the app and if it's first time you're opening it the app should detect the watch automatically but if it's already if you're already, already logged in and you have the app open you can tap on the plus button right here and it's gonna detect the watch automatically and then you can just do the same steps as we did before just connect it enter the uh, password from the watch then tap pair and it should pair with your watch this time it looks like it won't pair because as you can see it failed uh, so we can tap on start again but again okay let me let me try this again so how do we exit the uh, pairing mode on this watch i guess it's just, just gonna stop after some time but let's open the app again Close, uh, go back like this detected the watch tap on connected it. 
and now it's connecting, okay. So sometimes you need to try to repeat it to uh, connect the watch, sometimes it's buggy. And now the setup is complete, we can tap on next, yes, next, next, skip, sync now. We can tap on retry, for some reason it didn't connect to the server. And then tap finish. Again tutorial, not now, got it. And here we have it. And that's how you pair this watch with an iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.